Hello to everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to edit the photo which has green grass, for example, or green background. Because I think so many times we're watching tutorials or we're downloading some presets and in someone else's photo it's looking just great. And when we try to apply to our photo, it's looking creepy. So I warn you, this is going to work only if you have green in your photo if you have your model with enough light and your photo doesn't have a lot of contrast so probably you will have to reduce a little bit of the contrast before starting to edit and probably you will have to enhance a little bit green color okay i've done it in selective color i just add a little bit of uh, green and blue and yellow so the grass and the leaves are looking more kind of green color okay so make sure to do that so your photo by the colors and the light is looking similar to that photo so what you will have to do is to follow the link which is under the video and to download loot uh, loot is a kind of preset which we are using for photos. Uh, I have created this loot for you guys. And if you have 3D loot creator, I'm going to show you how I have created. Uh, and you can repeat and do by yourself or create some other loot, which is really awesome. And you can use it in different photos. It's really fast and easy. So here is the program 3D loot creator. You have to go to channels and in channels, uh, make sure that you have lighten in zero and darken in 100. The other everything, the rest is how it was originally. So we have to drag our green channel to this side. Okay, where is magenta purple? We can also try what we can do with blue. Actually, like, I think I'm going to leave it here. Okay, now I'm going to save the loot. So now you have created or you have downloaded the loot and what you have to do is you have to go to adjustments to this icon color lookup and here you have to choose load 3D loot and find where you have downloaded this loot and open it. So now it's applied to our image and as you can see it has influence specifically on the green color. So next, let's go to color balance. And I want to add a little bit of red and yellow, warm color. Yeah, I think even a little bit more of red than yellow, just to remove a bit of greenish color from her skin. And let's go to photo filter. Let's choose kind of cyan color and now i want to add it to the highlights okay so for that i will choose i will click on the mask i will go to image apply image i will choose our original layer rgb normal not invert okay so now it's applied to the lightest parts of the photo great and i will reduce a bit opacity Okay, so next let's go to gradient and let's choose kind of yellow gradient to make it to look like kind of sunlight going through the trees because I don't like this big yellow part of the sky what we have in the corner. So it's a nice opportunity to use this corner as a, as a place from where sun was shining to the model but make it logical if obviously you have sunlight to your models directing sunlight to your models you cannot put it behind her because it just will look illogical so we can change a bit the angle here ah, and we're choosing the style diamond yeah style diamond and we can change a bit the angle as we want and we can scale make it bigger smaller as we wish okay and we're changing the blending mode to overlay. Okay, next let's go to selective color and let's add black to yellow to make it more intense. 
more texturated, I think. And in color balance, let's add a bit of red, yellow, and magenta in mid tones. Okay, like that. And in highlights, let's add a little bit more of cold color and in shadows also cold color, which is logical. If we are adding warm color in mid-tones and shadow and highlights, we can add a bit of cold color. Okay, great. Then let's go to vibrance. Let's make our photo more vibrant. And let's remove it from her skin because I don't want her to be yellow or something like that. But I want to keep it. I'm, I want to keep it in her lips, for example, her cheeks, her nose to look more natural. Okay, great. So now let's merge all our layers. Let's make a copy of our layer and let's go to filter, camera row filter. So what I want to do here is I want to go to hue saturation and in hue I want to make red more kind of pink, orange more kind of red and yellow more kind of orange. So to add a little bit of reddish in yellows, I think. Yeah, and red to be more kind of pink color because her lips, her cheeks, I want to be kind of pink color, not red color. Okay, like that. And let's go to saturation. And I want her skin to be more clean, I think. So I want to reduce saturation in oranges because orange is, is obviously her skin and I will increase red. So if you're reducing oranges, uh, normally it's nice to increase reds, yeah? To keep her lips nice, you know, with nice color and yellows also I desaturated a bit. So we can also play with uh, other colors. For example, blues will be her dress. Okay, maybe her dress a little bit more intense. And in luminance, I want to make all colors a little bit darker, except oranges. Oranges is her face. I want it to be brighter. And maybe not yellow. Yeah, like that. And that's it guys. If you like this tutorial, please give it a like. And if you don't want to miss the next video, subscribe to my channel.